Sapir is a fantastic tool that we can use. Uh, let's go to cloudprinter.com again and everything I can find back over here in the connected apps. Um, so let's go to Sapir. So Sapir basically makes a bridge between one system and another system. Uh, they're called Zaps whenever you create them. And right now, um, I'm going to show you how to set this up really quickly without any coding again. That's the whole goal of the, the seminar. So right now, you see a little picture over here that simplifies what it actually does. So we have all these platforms like a, a Dropbox, Slack, uh, Google Drive, uh, MailChimp, and, we, and Sales Source as a CRM system, and we can connect that directly through a Zap with Cloud Printer. So there's already some pre-made Zaps that you can use if you use Disappear in that sense. Uh, there's also a step-by-step -step guide already here on the platform. So let's see, I have a, I created a Zapier account. I need that first and I need a Cloud Printer account again. Uh, but since I already have that, let's go into it. I will say, hey, I have here a Zap pre-made already for Dropbox. So what if I use all my files in Dropbox to get it printed? I said, well, fantastic. Use this Zap from Zapier and it will have to load a little bit. Um, so it already tells me, hey, um, the trigger for this is that there comes in a new file in Dropbox whenever I put it in there and I can select which account of Dropbox I want to use. And this is my own account and you can log into that. You say, okay, let's continue. Which folder do I want to use? Well, I can select a folder and do I want to include the files in there? Yes, I want because I want to use them for printing. So, okay, well, let's continue then. You can test your trigger out to see if it's all working, if your Dropbox account uh, is working with the Sapir. I won't go, in, I will not go into that. It's, it's just a, a little trigger. So, okay, uh, create an order in cloudprinter.com. So it already acknowledges it. So, well, fantastic, let's do that. This is like, okay, what is your Cloud Printer account? I have it right here. Um, I have my own account created and it says, okay, you can continue. I can customize my order by filling all of this in. And if you're not sure what to fill there, we have documentation on that uh, on the website that we can also share after this seminar. You can put in your delivery address, your country, you name it. And then in the end, when you once you fill this in, you can continue and finish the required fields. And then whenever uh, you add some files to your Dropbox, it can trigger to create an order. And that is actually how uh, Sapir works, it's just creating a bridge between two systems.